Hi there, I'm Eitan, and welcome to Wix Wiz. Today I'm going to be talking about a third-party software called Hotjar. And what Hotjar does is basically allows you to create these heat maps um, and record user activity um, on your website and basically just track user activity on your site in order to reach conclusions that it can eventually improve your site. Um, and today we're going to be learning how to install this on Wix. Uh, so let's get started. First, we're going to have to set up our Hotjar account. And I've run through most of the setup. So you're going to need to sign up for an account and answer a few questions. And eventually you'll reach um, which, where do you want to install Hotjar, which site. And I'm going to be installing it on my personal site. I'm just going to put the URL right over here. And I'm going to say continue. Um, and now it's just doing some scanning of my site to see uh, what I have set up already. And here we see that we have uh, an integration with Wix. Uh, so I'm going to say connect with Wix. And now uh, we need to follow these instructions to set up our tracking code. Uh, so first, get your tracking code. So you're just going to copy this piece of code. Uh, and then let's check out the installation guide. So right over here, we are going to go to custom code. And then we are going to add custom code. And then we are going to copy the hot jar tracking code um, from your site pages. And then um, paste it for Wix in the custom code text field. Um, and I'm just going to cut this short and I'm going to show you um, how it's done. But here you have kind of the documentation that can uh, explain how to do this step by step if my explanation uh, is not clear enough. So I'm going to head over to my dashboard. And here we have settings. And I'm going to the custom code section, which they mentioned um, in Hotjar. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be loading this code uh, in the head, OK? Because I want this to be one of the first thing that loads um, on the site. And I'm going to click here, Add Custom Code. And I'm just going to paste the code snippet that we got from Hotjar. And I'm going to call this code snippet Hotjar. And it's going to load on all pages. It's going to load once. And it's going to load in the head. And I'm going to go over to, I'm going to just click Apply so that my everything is saved. And then I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to edit the type. And I'm not going to make it essential. I'm going to make it analytics. Um, and this is important so that um, you know Wix knows how to uh, when to display this code depending on the user's consent to cookies. Uh, and you can check out this video um, which I just made, which explains how to set up the basic cookie banner for your website. Um, so I'm going to go here and click Analytics, and I'm going to click Apply. Okay, so that should be enough to set this up um, on your Wix website. And then I'm going to go and head back to Hotjar, uh, where we are going to verify the installation. Let me just move myself over to the other side. And you can see here that there's a button, Verify Installation. Verify. And now it's just going to make sure that I installed the tracking code uh, correctly on my website. And here it's loading up my site to do that check. And while it's doing this, I'm just going to point something out in the settings. Uh, so you're going to want to make sure that this is toggled on and enabled. OK, because you could look at this uh, preloader that I have here. It's another piece of code that I was working on. And currently, it's set to off. So that would not be working on the site. Uh, so if you find that it's not working after you try to paste the code snippet, uh, it might be because you haven't enabled the code. Uh, you should not need to publish your site again. So uh, custom code can be uh, enabled and disabled here, whether you publish your site after you apply the code. So let's head back over to Hotjar. And we're good. OK, so it took us on to um, the Hotjar setup page. And what I want to do now is I want to set up um, video recording for our site. And basically, what this will allow me to do is to take video of how people are behaving on my website and understand how I can improve it. So I'm going to go over here to Recordings. Uh, 
It's just taking a, a moment to load up. Okay, so we see here that you know it is it is recording. Okay, so this was automatically uh, set up. And the second thing that I want to check is just that we have heat maps set up. Okay, so this is where I would see heat maps. So here I'm going to create a new heat map. I'm going to skip the tour, but if you want to take the tour when you're doing this, uh, you're welcome to. And I'm going to create a new heat map. And the heat maps need to be uh, set up per page. So I'm going to create one uh, just for my home page. And I'm going to click uh, View Heat Map. And now it is uh, creating a heat map for uh, this part of the website based on the URL that I gave. And on the free version of Hotjar, they might limit kind of um, how many um, different pages you can set it up for or something like that. Also within the recordings, you'll be slightly limited, uh, but you can decide. And I find that you can still gain a lot of insight, uh, even with the free version, even only with partial uh, analysis of the site. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to visit my site uh, several times from a incognito browser and just show you what it looks like here in the heat maps and the recordings. So we'll be back in a moment. Hi there, so I'm back and this actually took a little longer than I expected and that is probably because my website doesn't have a lot of traffic to it. Um, so depending on how much traffic your website gets, you might need to wait between 24 hours to a week even to get some of the results uh, for your website. And it took me, I think it was two or three days uh, to get this first recording and to get some of the heat maps that I'm about to show you. Um, but basically, this is what uh, Hotjar can give you. So if I go over here to recordings, uh, you can see here one recording that I got. And remember, if you have the free version, then Hotjar is not showing you every single recording of every single person that visited your site, but it's rather selecting uh, specific recordings to show you. Um, and then if I click play here, then it'll go over and open the recording up in a new tab. And as you can see here, um, you can see basically what this person is doing on the site. So they're checking out here a specific blog post that I have um, on the site. And you can see here information on the right. Um, as to what country they're from, um, what devices they're using, etc. cetera. Um, and yeah, and you can see here kind of as they're attempting to use um, kind of certain parts of the website. And this specifically is the Wix forum. So there's not a lot that I can do here to improve the site, but think that if this was kind of a regular page, then I would be able to gain some insights as to what I need to improve to improve the user experience. Uh, one more thing I'll point out about Hotjar is here you have kind of uh, key moments and things that happen. So, you know, here, for example, the Hotjar has identified this person uh, made a U-turn, they call it. Um, so if I go here into the recording, uh, then hopefully you could see something, some kind of unique uh, user action taking place at this point. Um, also here you can see kind of a kind of break. And this usually means that maybe the user left the tab to go to another tab, and then they returned at some point. So yeah, I definitely recommend turning up the speed on these and kind of skipping through the recordings to try to identify, especially if you have a lot of recordings. Um, but I think that the value here is pretty clear. Uh, the next thing I want to show you is really just what the heat maps look like. Um, and I already I saw that so this has changed a little bit since uh, the last time that I used Hotjar seriously. Um, and originally, uh, you had to kind of identify a certain page that you wanted to create a heat map for uh, before you can uh, tell Hotjar to start collecting information for those pages. Uh, now I see that it kind of just builds the heat maps automatically for all the pages, depending on usage. So I had saved home page. Um, as a page that I wanted to collect uh, information for. Uh, but actually, there isn't any, um, I'm just going to close this tab. There isn't any information, uh, enough, at least enough information to create a heat map yet for these pages. But here on the bottom, I have suggestions for some other 
pages that uh, I can view the heat map for. So for example, if I click uh, this page right over here, then it's going to load the heat map for that page. And again, it showed only one session, so the heat map won't be that impressive because um, you really need, you know, a few hundred sessions to gain a viable heat map in terms of something that you can reach conclusions with. Uh, but at least this will just let me demonstrate to you what a heat map might look like. Okay, so this heat map finally loaded. And just to give you a heads up, it's going to be a little disappointing because as you can see here, um, I didn't get any clicks. Um, and that's not surprising based on one visit to the page. Uh, but I just want to show you kind of what the page looks like. And I'll explain what clicks would look like if you were to have clicks and kind of what to do with that information uh, once you have it. So first of all, here in terms of layout, so you can see different things. So one is uh, desktop session, tablet sessions, and mobile sessions. So those are all um, kind of different. And here uh, you can see how many clicks there are. You can see moves, and you can see uh, scrolls. Okay, so here we see kind of some clicks. This is what a click would also look like. You can kind of see these little heat dots. Um, so that means here, let's say there were kind of a lot of moves and or imagine this were clicks. So here there would be a lot of clicks because you kind of see red, uh, whereas here there might be, let's say, one click and here there might be two clicks. Um, another important thing you could check out is the page scrolling. Uh, so here it shows you kind of average fold. So this, that means like the average place where um, kind of like a screen, this this basically is the first thing that you would see uh, when your page loads before the person needs to start scrolling. Uh, so that's what average fold means. And then everything under that is something that they would have to scroll in order to see. And what you can see here is how many percent of the people reached a certain point. Um, so, you know, if we had more data here, it would probably look like, you know, 100% of the people see what's above the fold. And then as we get under the fold, we'd have, let's say, 80%, 70%. And then as you get to the bottom of the page, it could be 0% of the people. And that really highlights, you know, the importance of putting the important things that you definitely want people to see above the fold and higher up on the page in general. Uh, and you can really use this information in terms of scrolling and clicks in order to prioritize how you lay out your pages and what you might need to clarify in your pages. Because for example, if you see, I'll just go back to moves for a second. You know, if you see somebody clicked a lot over here um, and this doesn't really do anything, then it could be that that's misleading and users expect clicking over here to do something. And again, this is the Wix forum app. So I'm kind of limited here, but imagine this was just a regular page on my website. Um, let's say I would decide that this header here, this should actually be a link and it should link to something um, because that's something that people are expecting some kind of reaction from. Otherwise, they wouldn't be clicking on it so much. Uh, and that's just kind of some of the information that you can kind of garner from that. Um, yeah, so I hope this uh, was helpful. I personally love Hotjar. I think it's a very useful tool. Uh, you do need to be careful in terms of privacy and stuff like that and make sure that you know people uh, approve the cookies on the website and you have the cookie banner set up so that they know that you might be doing this kind of thing and inc include it in your website's you know privacy policy and stuff like that um, and you know don't collect any personable information uh, if you can avoid it if you like this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you next time